Well, here we go, folks. Nope, never mind. Looks like this bird wants to get its ass beat. Judith, take him out. You cannot peck me, little shit. I'm just getting started. Give me that goddamn sharp beak. Let's see what's going on. This looks normal enough. A couple knights here and there. Hmm. Not as many knights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet. Especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. Nice. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about meeting her. I'm finally gonna be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. Come on out. It'll be okay. Is it alright for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. But it'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. I really don't get that logic. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. <laughs> in other words, um... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. That's the spirit! Hmm. I wonder if Flynn's already here somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you. Yeah, because then you can't arrest me, because you're going to pardon my crimes of murder. I am so... I get it, you're hungry. All right, here. I'm going to make everybody a... Okay. Well, I tried. It does look completely normal, aside from a few knights just standing around. Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure. You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Reverse werewolf. Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. 
about who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? The last time we were here, I talked about uh, a reverse werewolf, and a couple people were confused about what I was referring to. So in this made-up idea, because it's a new moon, Bellius is human, whereas any other time, uh, you can see more of the moon, and therefore she would be a werewolf, hence a reverse werewolf. It's typically a werewolf shows up during a fur moon. I'm saying this person only is human when it's a new moon, if that makes sense. I don't think that's the case, but if it is, that's We've fucking hilarious. We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But you can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Maybe she's an excellent tiger well, herself. I like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. It's gonna be like one of those dragon things, probably. Everybody still here? Yes. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, no, yep, definitely is an excellent tale. Uh, a monster! And here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. I wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed, we have governed this city for ages. That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. 
I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Entelikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad so some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You Antilike are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know. What exactly is the Child of the Full Moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison. But what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. Huh, <laughs> as if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We Hunting Blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we mete out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast. It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. What about the information I came for? Who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods. I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the Hunting Blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the Knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Get ready, I'm taking you down. Oh, 
we survive the fatal strike? The sign of victory! Yeah. Yay! They're wide open. It doesn't seem fair. Some of these guys are fucking strong. Alright, Barley. Why are they all named after foods? I'm just getting started. 7,004. God, I'm starting to love that attack. At first, I was like, kind of like, yeah, I don't like this. Just because it's like, you know, one, it's just one hit, basically. But damn, that's a big hit. It's an ambush! This is awesome! Get messed up too with your dumb helmet. You'll be gone soon enough. Say at 36, I think I get a new art. This is awful. Could Nan have done this? You all right? Nat has gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll. If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've got to go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately. Nan, you've got to stop. Carol, what are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Fuck off, lady. Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be. Nan. No. Oh, down. 
son of your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Belius's minions, huh? We're brave, Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! Don't get sloppy! Ogre Pepe, Ellie, you look like a caster. I know who I'm gonna smash. Come here. Man, these guys are just going crazy. Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Belius is okay. Duce! Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. Root of evil, Bellius? Well, you got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us, to the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You, you monsters are all alike. Judy! Duce! I'll heal you. You mustn't. Your power is... No. W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Duce Bellius! Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Elias. Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! So I'm going to go on a limb here. Um, Estelle's power, I'm guessing, is considered unnatural, because she can... Like, so, so Bodiblastia, they basically, like, condense air and allow people to use arts, whereas Estelle can do that innately, without anything. Um, I'm guessing the Excellentea are, like, the guardians of air, or something along those lines. And so, because of that... They view Estelle's power to just do shit without air as unnatural, and it somehow interacts with them negatively. Killed, huh? I'm sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me. Was I wrong? No, you weren't. You weren't. What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live. Blow you away! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, halfway there, though. Oh, shit. I'm 
Have like a health pool or something. Oh, no, 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 It's over! Dutre! No! What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh. If you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. Oh, shit. This is... Is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapatheia! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse. So the clear seal crystals are considered like the souls of the excellent Thea? Shit. So, 
This must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. <laughs> Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. didn't you what uh, but I let's move okay wait damn well that's a lot of shit to process <laughs> we're gonna wrap this one up here we obviously got one more this week before we close out, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys with it later today.